There are several different ways in which you could be called upon to, to play. Um, the, 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 part, the, the, the situation where there is no part, for example, I did several albums with Jerry Rafferty. There was, my favourite was Night, called Night Owl. And with him, you turn up at a studio, he'll play the part on piano and sing, and it's up to you to figure out what he's playing, what the chords are, what the inversions are, what riffs you might need, what anybody else is going to play. And you build your own part from nothing. So that's a bit of a challenge, you know, to, to start off that way. Then there's the, the, the most common one, which is the chord chart, which is probably busking maybe, is, is, I don't know. Mm. But you, you're given a chart that's got the structure on it, where the verse is and so on, and what chords they are. But it's up to you to interpret what lines you play and who you fit in with, and that guy over there, what's he, you know, you've got to have ears out here. Um, and then there's the totally written part, which would happen certainly on things like film scores, where you've got, you've got to play exactly what's there, because you've probably got a unison with some cellos over there, or a trombone that you can't hear, but they're there, they're playing. Um, and that's, I, I, I uh, shall I tell you the moment that, the, 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 the another cathartic moment? Yes, please. Um, I was getting away by just interpreting chord charts. I was sort of doing all right on the scene. The, the word of mouth was spreading. Mm -hmm. But I was, I was living dangerously. I was getting big sessions that I perhaps shouldn't do. I, I was booked for a, a session at Abbey Road Number no. 2 studio with a, a 50 piece orchestra. The nine-piece rhythm section is massive. And I was, there was a double bass player as well, so there were some unisons there. And um, I, I, what I do is listen to everybody and play what I think ought to be the part, which is, sort of works. On this day, though, the, the MD, who was David Rose, the American guy who wrote The Stripper and The Bonanza Theme, he suddenly cut the orchestra in mid-take and, and pointed at me and said, Mr. Bass Player, please play, ba bar, please play bars 90 through to 100 and something, you know. And of course, every, you know, 50 heads turned to see who's this Who's he attacking? So in front of the entire orchestra, I had to play something. And that, I felt ill, and you know, the sweat was coming out. And I, he was ever so kind. He, he said, um, well, it's not what I've written, but it'll do. So I got away with it. And that's because um, in, the, in the beginning of the bass guitar on sessions, the arrangers had no idea what to write. So they hired me or John Paul Jones or Herbie Flowers to play the part that they should have written because they knew we could do it, we could interpret it. And I was using those skills, to, to get, but, but I got spotted. Wow. That's, that's <laughs> so remarkable. I sat down to learn to, to read and I, it, it was great because I got gigs you couldn't get any other way.